brought to you by GTA, your island, your network. The Guam Election Commission is lending a hand to our island neighbors in the north. As the CNMI cast their ballots in their general election today, it'll be with the help of a couple senior staffers from the GEC. The GEC most recently on Saipan to help Guam-based relief workers aiding the CNMI with Super Typhoon U2 recovery efforts vote. And we said, you know, would you need help for your election? And so they thought about it and they came back and they told us what they needed help with. And I said, well, I checked with the commissioners and of course they said, yes, let's help them with whatever we can. Pangolina said senior GEC staffers Joe Asecki and Thompson Augustine are in Saipan with election system software's Bill McCullough to aid in election efforts and assist in any troubleshooting that may occur with voting tabulation machines. The CNMI's election was delayed because of damage the island sustained from the passage of U2. The election being held today is to elect governor and lieutenant governor, senators, attorney general, and delegate to the U.S. House, as well as other offices. Because the CNMI's election was delayed by U2, it opened up a unique opportunity for the GEC. Most of the time, all the time, it's on the same day as ours, so we don't have a chance to go out and help them. While Guam is known for transporting ballots on school buses, one of the GEC staffers will head to Tanian later today to bring ballots back to Saipan, and it won't be on a bus. And he will come back by boat with all the ballots. Of course, he'll be accompanied by the uh, DPS, their Department of Public Safety officer, and it's on the DPS boat. The CNMI's Election Commission and the GEC have a long history of working together, and that relationship has gotten better under Pangolinan's tenure at the GEC. We've been working together uh, with, uh, with training as well. We learn what they do, they learn what we do. And we've learned a bunch from them, actually. Being able to lend a hand during the CNMI's time of need falls right in line with the CNMI and Guam's shared cultural values. That's just the Chamorro way of doing elections. For Guam's News Network, I'm Chris Barnett. Brought to you by GTA, your island, your network.